This next session we're going to talk about the awesome feature called Find My iPhone. This is available on all Apple mobile devices. Find My iPhone is an iCloud feature that allows us to do all sorts of just awesome stuff, right? It allows us to track our mobile devices. So let's say we lost it. We can open up a nice little map and see where it's located. Somebody steals it. It allows us to lock the device and display a custom message with who to return the device to. It allows us to um, alert the device so we basically turn on the alert and then the phone will go beep 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 until you come and turn it off right. It will allow us to wipe the device and it prevents the ability for another Apple ID to wipe that device and reuse it. You have to enable this feature, right? So let's get the Find My iPhone uh, feature enabled. If it's not already, hopefully it is. And uh, um, let's uh, show you how to use this, right? And to your benefit, if it gets stolen, if your kid loses it, all these different scenarios can happen with these devices. The number one use case that I found that I've used it for is that my mobile device just goes missing in the house, right? So happens all the time. You know, uh, literally last week or a couple weeks back now, um, we went camping. My wife lost her phone, right? And she was like, oh, I can't find the phone. We're all ready to go. And I'm like, well, let's just alert it. We turned on the alert and literally it was already in the car on the side and she grabbed it and she's like, all right, let's go. That's why you need to understand how to use these features. So let's get the, um, make sure Find My iPhone is enabled and let's show you the features it has. All right, let's get going. All right, so we're gonna open up the settings app. Within settings, we're gonna utilize the search bar to search for find my iPhone. And the reason we're gonna use the search bar instead of just navigating through the settings is because each iOS version has a different way to get to these settings. So to make it easy, we're using Apple's awesome search feature um, to search for it. So we're gonna type in find my, and as you can see, uh, I don't even have to finish typing find my iPhone. Uh, before the, the the setting comes up. So I'm going to select that first setting, find my iPhone. It's going to go into the find my iPad settings because this is a, a an iPad, right? So um, that's why it's labeled find my iPad. I need to make sure that both of these options are toggled on and green. I need to make sure that find my iPad is toggled on and green and if you have the option for send last location, let's make sure that that's toggled on as well. Um, I had an occurrence where my wife lost her phone a couple years back. Uh, we were out uh, at a restaurant the night before, came home back to the hotel, and uh, when the next morning we realized that we didn't have the phone with us. And so we pulled it up and I'm like, oh man, uh, it's going to be dead, you know, we're not going to be able to track it. Well, because we had this enabled, uh, the device had sent its last location right before it went dead. We uh, we were able to retrieve that device. It was, in fact, dead, out of battery, uh, very cold because it was freezing. Um, but we got the device, and we were set. So... Um, awesome feature to make sure is enabled so let's uh, let's see what this uh, the find my iPhone app can do for tracking so we're gonna exit out of here and we're gonna use the find iPhone application uh, the nice thing about the find iPhone application is if you have many iOS devices this is an extremely easy way to have a view of all your devices right you can also go to iCloud.com and enter it there as well, which is the perfect example for if your phone gets stolen and you don't have another Apple device, you just go to iCloud.com, sign in, 
and then you're going to get another screen that says two-factor authentication and at the bottom you're going to see where it says find my iPhone you click that and it logs you right in and you can perform all the same actions that I'm going to show here right so let's open up find iPhone when I open up the Find iPhone app, it's already in uh, location tracking mode. <clears throat> it's looking at my devices, all my devices that I have, and it's shown me that they are in fact where I'm at. Right? They're at my house. So I'm going to click this little arrow up in the left hand corner of the screen so I can see a list of all my devices. As you can see, I have a list of devices in the left hand column the top three have a green dot and that means that those are devices that are remote I'm not on that device I'm actually on the one with the blue dot so I'm gonna actually choose the Mac guys iPad because I want to perform actions on this one um, in the very middle on the bottom of the screen you're gonna see an actions button we're gonna click that to bring up the actions so now that I've got my iPad selected, I've got my actions that I can choose, the, the instance in where you'd want to use these can differentiate between everybody's scenario, but the play sound one is one that I use quite often. So, you know, in, in the example I gave previously, you know, we were camping on our way out, my wife lost her phone, and, you know, this helped us find it. But this can be all the time I mean you know we use this all the time right so anytime your device is lost within the vicinity it's really great to be able to use this so let's demonstrate this now I'm gonna click the play sound and as you can see it alerts giving me the chance to find that device quickly and not really worrying anymore right you know and honestly when I when I lose my device now I have a lot less anxiety because I have this ability to find it quickly within the house um, so the next situation is okay I'm at an event and I've lost my iPhone I mean I'm panicking right now so the very first thing I would do is I would find whatever kind of device I can get on it can be a Mac it can be a Windows device it can be somebody's cell phone as long as it's got a browser and I'm gonna navigate to iCloud.com and I'm going to enable lost mode on my device I'm gonna demonstrate what lost mode actually does because I know that it's missing I need to set it into lost mode to prevent potentially losing my data or you know it, it, people just not knowing who to return the device to right so we want to give them the ability to return the device to me so I'm gonna click lost mode then it's gonna say turn on lost mode I'm gonna enter the number that I want them to reach me at and I'm gonna say please call Jesse Thank you. As soon as I click, it's going to lock my screen, letting the person that has found my iPad know, hey, please call Jesse. He lost his iPad. Here's his number. This device, you can't do anything with this device. It's completely locked down. Um, and it's perfect. It's exactly the way you want this device to be in in the state you want it to be in if you lose it I'm going to unlock it and now we're back to an unlocked unlocked found iPad I'm gonna go back into the find iPhone app I'm going to select my iPad again click on the actions again and then I'm going to take a look at erase iPad and the little car icon. 
The Erase iPad will wipe this device, leaving it with no tracking abilities left, right? So once you wipe it, you can't track it anymore. So it's kind of a situation where, you know, I don't necessarily know that I would erase the iPad, um, knowing that uh, unless it had some sort of corporate data or something like that, and I wasn't able to track it, you know, we weren't seeing it pop up anywhere. I'd want to click the erase iPad. And then when it did check in there, it erased the contents and the data. The last icon, the car icon, all that does is bring us up a map of how to get there with the Maps app. So it shows me how to get to this device, but since I'm here, it's kind of irrelevant, right? So it's just going to show me a map of where I'm at. Um, so that's really it uh the that is find my iphone and it's awesome abilities to you know play an alert sound you know set loss mode erase the ipad in the event you need to um but most of all being able to you know track these devices and keep tabs on our kids is a great thing that apple has created it's almost like hey they created this service to track these de devices but what it does for parents is really allow us to keep tabs on our kids because you know they all have these devices nowadays right so it seems like everybody's getting these devices and kids younger and younger I'm seeing on the streets with these devices so I think parents are kind of thinking of it as you know this is a great way for me to keep tabs on my kid you know and that's why a lot of times I see these young kids with these devices um but that's it folks uh i hope you enjoyed this uh session uh thank you very much and you have an awesome day